the video for you guys showing you guys how to test the vacuum on the mounts now this is the vacuum line that comes from the mount control solenoid this pulls suction on the mounts in order to make them softer or harder depending on whether you have it in gear driving or you got a stop light it'll you know it'll you know um, get rid of the vibrations while you're stopped so what I did was the line with the suction I took it off and this one line right here is connected to all the engine well it's connected to the front and the rear engine mount that this is what gives the rear and the front engine mount suction so what it does is it goes from it goes from this line right here right and it goes to a three-way valve like this so this suction hose right here connects to this line here I mean this hole right here and then there's another hose that goes to the rear mount and then another hose that goes to the front mount and that's how you get suction on vacuum controlled uh, on the engine mounts so I'm just gonna explain it one more time for the people that didn't understand there is you know a valve here but it's farther down there you can't see it so I'm showing you guys because I'm buying a new one and I'm gonna replace all the vacuum lines and I'm gonna make a video for that also um, basically what I'm showing you is that I'm showing I'm gonna show you how to vac test the system make sure you buy one of these I picked this up at AutoZone for like $35 vac test this line here to make sure you don't have any leaks before you replace your mounts because you want to make sure check the vac vac test your mounts and then vac test this main line here from the top because this connects to all the other ones so if there's a leak you're gonna have to find out which mount is leaking which is the front or the which is the front or the back mount whichever one is leaking and um and troubleshoot it from there you know because it all goes through a three-way valve right there in the back so you'll see where each hose connects to what you can do is um when you get to the the because the the valve that goes from here to the front mount that goes from there to the front mount the hose what you can do is take the hose off the valve here and put the suction on the valve like i'm showing you here like exactly what i'm going to do here you can do for each engine mount to test and see which engine mount is leaking and which hoses are leaking that's how i would troubleshoot it so right now i'm gonna show you how to vac test the mount i mean yeah the through the main line for the mount now bear with me i am using one hand today i don't i didn't use the tripod i just got back home after purchasing this stuff i wanted to get this video done hold on real quick So right now what I'm doing is sticking the back line in the mount, the main mount wire. See what I did? Put it in there, it's in the line. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pump the system. So if this goes down, that means there's a leak in the mount or in the system, a mount system. That means there's a leak if it goes down. But if it holds for more than 20 seconds, there's no leak. And as you can see, there's no leak in my system. All the lines are sealed. All the mounts are getting a vacuum. And that's it. Now, if it just was to drop like that, that means there's a leak in your system. It wouldn't drop that quickly, but it would drop, it would drop slower. Cause it would be a small leak. Yeah, it would be a small leak. But it has to be up to 20 at least in order to test the vac system. As you can see, it's holding pressure. It's not going down. That means the vacuums the vacuum lines are good, everything works perfectly. I don't have any issues here. I'm still gonna replace the lines because they're old anyway. And I just bought a whole bunch of, you know, uh, vac tubing from the dealer. 
uh, it was like forty dollars, and they give you this this uh here's the part number here. 95005-35008-10M and it gives you like a large amount of vac line and you can go over your vacuum system and replace it and I replaced this valve also here it's a 50919-S87-81 this is the valve that all the lines connect to and then from there you just you just seal each line well I didn't seal these but you just seal each line one after the next and um, that's it see it's still holding pressure vac system is good if you guys have any questions feel free to ask don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys don't know what this is this is the mount control solenoid this gives the mounts suction in order to get rid of the vibration in the car it makes it idle better and things like that. Well, it makes it idle better and, you know, it makes the mounts harder when you drive. That's what this is. Mount control solenoid. And if this cap came off ever, replace this. It's only like $25 from the dealer. Just replace it. Because I'm pretty sure it's not holding enough vacuum with this cap once it came off. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.